429. We'll go for right now. Is that? I said we'll go for right now. We can? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, Jack's going to take us for a ride to Boss 429. Um, I bought this in uh, 1971. It's a 69. Right. They built uh, they built 500 cars. This, this was the 429th car. Really? So I couldn't figure out what the number was, uh, what the serialized number was, and I kept looking and messed with it, and I figured out it was a 429th car. So you think that that was 429 NASCAR, but the the number on the car is, is 429. In the back of this thing? Yep. They, um, uh, Ford just uh, had the Boss 429 engine organized for a real narrow torque van from, uh, for, for uh, Day Daytona and Talladega. So it, uh, it wasn't, didn't have a big torque van. It took a, a box intake manifold to make it work right. And uh, they weren't as fast as Cobra Jets were, or uh, a good GTO would give it a would give it a, a fit. But this one's different. This one's got a half-inch stroke in it, which I like to put a half-inch stroke in everything. All it's right, guys. Sitting in a Boss 429 Mustang. Abe's in the back. <clears throat> See that scoop out there? It's uh, not every day that you get to ride a Boss 429 Mustang. Oh yeah. And uh, you may be wondering who, by the title, is driving or who we're with. It's Mr. Jack Roush. What do you say, Jack? He said, let's go for a ride. All right, Jack's taking us for a ride in a Boss Mustang. I've never been in a Boss 429 Mustang before, and I'm getting to do so with Mr. Jack Roush. We stopped by to say hello and check out some of the collection. Jack happened to be here, so. There we go. Got Abe in the back, filming. I don't know if it gets much cooler than this. Oh my god. Oh, Jack's not shy. Is that a manual choke? Is this one of your favorites, Jack? It's one of my favorites. Wow. 
This is too cool. You want to drive it? What's that? You want to drive it? <laughs> Absolutely. Got to belt up for safety. We're in a Jack Rush's Boss 429 Mustang. Let's go out and make a left turn at the light. What'd you put in it? A 320 gear. Nice. Better for cruising. Nice. I'm really at a loss for words. This is really an incredible day. 7,000 on the tack. We're not going to take it that high. Power steering. Creature comforts if you've got a Boss 429 under the hood. There's nobody been in the back seat before, so Abe's getting a uh, cherry. <laughs> <laughs> I, Was like it? The, I like the hash of the mechanical cam. You can hear it. Was it was it kind of mind blowing when they came out with this engine because it was such a huge departure from? Well, it was when Ford was interested in winning NASCAR, they uh, in order to get this engine approved, which was better than what they the ton port screen. They uh, they made a race engine and then they had to put in 500 passenger cars. Turn here. loving about driving this car is you can feel the mechanical aspects of it the shifter you can hear the engine it's not butter smooth in terms of today's cars it's it's an experience I feel like I'm doing everything and you feel it in every gear change the, the weight of the clutch pedal it's not super light like today's cars. Thanks the bumps nice though. The brakes uh, are worrisome but it has more travel than you'd like and they're not as solid as you'd like but they're they're as good as the uh, brakes in, the, in that period were. And it, it will slide the wheels and push hard enough on it. I can see why people love these cars. Small mirrors, I mean, just knowing you have that motor under the hood, you have to just feel like the king. Yeah, it's a boss. It does drive, it's docile though. I mean, it just, I, I envision this thing be a little more uh, of a handful, but you could just cruise this thing around. It's not, it's not terrible. Clutch isn't overly heavy. Power steering and power brakes. So Jack, Boss 429, it pretty much doesn't get any cooler than that. You've owned this car since 1971? 1971. I bought it with a uh, blown up engine. A young fellow who had it was drag racing and he got behind on his payments. His dad insisted he sell it and I was uh, the only, uh, the only uh, option he had. So I gave him $1,100 for it with a blown engine. Wow. Took one of my uh, pro stock engines and uh, changed the pistons and the cam in it and put this pro stock short block in it. <laughs> <laughs> so you've had some fun with this car over the years. 
Yeah, I, I've not really driven it until this year, until this spring. I, uh, I bought it, uh, put it in storage with a blown up engine, and uh, then I restored it and painted it and got a fresh engine in it and uh, drove it with a 389 gear. It, it, all it did was make noise. Right. It, it, the tires wouldn't hold it. So I put, uh, put a, uh, a, a 420, took a, a 389 out and put a 320 in. And uh, again, it's a it's a ring your opinion out of my NASCAR program, uh, used parts. <laughs> so it's low drag. So it's uh, it's it's lightweight uh, ring your opinion. Well, the car drives amazing. It's super smooth. Um, I guess like any old car, it does have a little nuances. It's got a little long brake pedal, but shifts beautifully. The clutch actuation is really nice and smooth. And when you lean into that thing, it's just torque city. It's got uh, big displacement and. Uh, it's got an extra 30 cubic inches. Oh, I knew something was up. It's not extra because it's, uh, it's, it's it serves a purpose. <laughs> I love that. As far as old muscle cars, I mean, is this one of your favorites? Yeah, it's one of the favorites for the old cars. Uh, it, uh, it was the 429th of, of 500 cars they built, so it's real special. Oh, wow. Uh, it, uh, the sale number says 429 KK. Could, could you ever ima have imagined back then when these cars were out what we'd have today with 760 horsepower Mustangs? And no, the street uh, the, the street scene was was different. Uh, there were, uh, the, you had the uh, the Cobra Jets, which uh, a 420 Cobra Jet was faster than this car uh, with uh, the way it was released. And the 428s were too good. You had uh, the high, large displacement, uh, low compression, Oldsmobiles and Pontiacs. There was a lot of action on the street. Uh, the, the, my favorite street car for the period that I drove was a 60 Falcon, which I've got. I got a, a recreation of that in, the, in a museum here. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, it was, I had a half inch stroke on it. Uh, it was 350 inches. I took a 292 of, of Ford truck crank and uh, offset grounded, it was steel crank and made uh, th 350 cubic inches. Put an Elder Rock log ram manifold on it with two four barrels, that, uh, which fit under the hood. Uh, no room for an air cleaner, but they fit under the hood. Right. A 80 mile an hour with the street tires I had was 2800 RPM. Right. Would run 7,000 high gear. You had a lot of rev range then in that thing. Yeah, it was. Uh, it, it, we had a. Uh, we put uh, slicks in the in the back seat and in the trunk. Put a, a, a couple of co uh, uh, containers of rear end grease. We'd uh, load our toolbox in the car with a jack in the car. We'd go to a drag strip 100 miles away, change right. the gear, change the tires, go past go, collect $200, and <laughs> uh, change the gear and drive it home. Crazy. Never thought about her or breaking it. We raced it for two and a half years. Never lost a race with it. And the, the street scene, like on Woodward, must have been incredible back then. Oh, yeah. Well, on the west side, we used Telegraph. Okay. Te telegraph on the west side and Woodward on the east. Uh, I found uh, most of my running on, uh, on, on, on Telegraph on the west side. Was it a lot of money racing back then or just kind of fun? I took uh, all, anybody that had money wants to bet on me, I, uh, I, I took the money. My brother was in college in, Bria, in uh, Richmond, Kentucky, Eastern, Mich Eastern Kentucky University. And I took it down and gave it to him one year. And uh, boys on his floor had lived in the dormitory. They uh, figured out that he had a fast car. And so they said, anytime that somebody wants to race your car for money, he says, we'll put the money up. Nice. Says, if you win, you keep it. And if you lose, don't worry about it. That's yeah, not a bad deal. And never lost. But the Dean and Men did give him a, a, a good attendance, a good uh, 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 conduct award. He had to take a year off. <laughs> I almost got one of those awards. That's good. Cool. Well, we're going to cruise back in the shop. This is, we'll take another look at this car. We'll show you what we just drove. Boss 429 Mustang, one of the many in Jack's collection. Just a mind blowing day. Didn't expect this to happen. And we're thankful that we can bring everybody along for the ride. <laughs>